The following segment is brought to you by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Food and your mood. Utah has one of the highest rates of mental illness in the country. We have Sarah Browning here, a registered dietitian from McKay D Hospital, to talk a little bit about how food can change that. Yeah, absolutely. Some food can make it worse and some can make it better. It can. So we know that there are a lot of factors that contribute to mental, mental health. Mm -hmm. and, but the good news is we know now that nutrition can have a positive impact on our mental wellness, um, specifically depression and anxiety. Okay, Ron brought his favorites, and that's the sugar in the front. <laughs> You'd think, I mean, candy bars and stuff those are Ron actually brought those up <laughs> yeah it, it, does that make people feel better or does it make it maybe, worse? maybe in the short term but in the long term what research is showing that we have foods that'll help and foods that will make it worse okay so we know not surprisingly that foods that ha are processed foods mm -hmm. they might be simple carbohydrates high in sugar kind of what we see mm -hmm. here those foods are have been shown to increase mental illness or to contribute to that so not a positive way to go if we want to um, work on our mental health through our nutrition we really want to focus on a lot of fruits and vegetables not mm -hmm. surprisingly right. that's what we talk about often whole grains low-fat dairy fish olive oil those are the foods that are really going to contribute what is the science of it why I mean we know they're better for our physical health but mental health as well right so somewhat the same the same mechanisms that we see with food affecting chronic disease diabetes other mm -hmm. other chronic diseases the same mechanisms are going to help improve your mental health Okay, well what about mental health if you do want a snack like this, something like this? Just in moderation. Okay. Right? So we always talk about about 80% of your diet should be these healthful foods mm -hmm. that we want to focus on. And then if you want to have a treat, about 20% left for something like this. Um, but don't eat know, the whole bag. Don't eat the whole bag. Just have okay. a serving. <laughs> All right. Sarah, thanks so much. Some great advice. If you ever want more advice on the good stuff to eat and recipes and everything else, go to our website, KUTV.com and click on Check Your Health. Run.